Hey guys, Lunar Knight here. Well, he asked for it, and frankly, I don't know why. I mean, JoJo's Bizarre Adventures is an interesting anime, and I have seen some clips of it, and giving it a Lunar Knight review will be interesting. But I review Dogs and Scissors, Fanboy Chum Chum, and Pop Up Girl Z. Clearly, I've seen some weirder shit. Sit back, relax, and enjoy this fan pick review of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. So we see two robbers come across an accident and we see Hero Baby crying. It's happening a lot in these reviews. Then a man wakes up from the accident and is told that the robber saved him and his child's life. Yeah, because that's the guy that looks like someone that will save someone's life. And the guy promised the robber that he owes him a favor that he must repay. Cut to 15 years later as we see that we are in 1800 England. Yeah, it's like an American company basing a show in Japan. But we'll get to that one later. As we see a young man playing with his dog. I'm off! Then fare thee well, Jojo. Wait, wait. You cannot be serious right now. There is no way that guy's name is Jojo. Unless he's a clown that's going to the circus, I... There is no way that guy's name is Jojo. We then see that the thief also has a son. Again, would you see him with someone? And sends his son Deal to live with Jojo and his father. Listen, I may be a guest within your house, but I am not to be trifled with. In all things that I do, I am number one. He's an asshole. And that clip is not wrong, as Deal tries to ruin Jojo's life by beating him in boxing matches and telling his friends that he's a snitch. But a girl Jojo rescued came by and gave him some grapes, and Jojo and she became good friends. But Deal sees how happy she makes Jojo and he assaulted her. What the hell? Okay, I'm pretty sure in the 1800s that counts as an assault case. Enraged by this, Jojo attacks Deal and wins the fight, but then Deal kills Jojo's dog. I must remedy that. Once I learn to master my temper, I'll be invincible to the likes of Jojo. Who are you? We didn't cut to seven years later. I think I understand this so far. As we see, Jojo and Dio have gotten along and even became good friends in the eye of the public. But Jojo's father somehow is ill. It was just a cold. Why has it worsened so? Back then in the 1800s, a cold could kill ya. We then see Jojo looking over the mask his mother has, which apparently is activated by blood. I've seen worse. Then Jojo finds a letter from Dio's father that tells that he has the same sympathy as Jojo's father. Uh, not to judge, but since this is the day that this review came out, I can see how that could be easily spread. This letter, your father sent it to mine. Guess what it says? Your lordship, sickness has laid me right low. I found a random letter. You are under arrest. How can I swear on the honor of a man who didn't have any? He deserved to die. Oh my God, guy, calm down. You do as much yelling as they do on Dragon Ball. For those of you that thought I've never said Z in the title, uh, I don't care. So Dio punched Jojo and Jojo throws him over the balcony, which should have least injured him. Anime. Because who needs logic? Jojo left his father taken care of by doctors as he heads to London to figure out if Dio did poison his father. Dio then grabs the mask and goes after Jojo. The university couldn't identify this so-called medicine. Okay, I know this is an anime, but seriously, you're putting a Sherlock Holmes reference in this? What's next, James Bond? Oh, Mince, you're right finally, with a tip of the hat! Any other British media you want to rip off? I hear we, you can do one with Casablanca. Of course, Jojo doesn't kill them because of his honor, and the gang leader tells him where are we... He can find the medicine man. Meanwhile, Dio comes across some older gentlemen and attacks them, putting the mask on one of them, turning him into a vampire. Peter Pan. I can see them ripping off Peter Pan. Or is that still owned by Disney? Through the night, but suddenly I got such a brutal thirst. My blood is draining it. Del Dirty Tim, I won't be coming home this Christmas. The sun kills the vampire. No, you got it wrong. They just sparkle. And Dio comes home where Jojo is ringing for him. And a Dio Brando. I have all the proof I require, and then some. Then more and more people reveal to Jojo and his father that Dio's evil, and Dio kills Jojo's father, and Dio's shot by police. Take this ring. It was your mother's Jojo. Also, if you could just burn down the house, I think I have enough money on the insurance. But 
Uh oh. I'm not dead! The Elf turns into a vampire and attacks everyone, even Jojo. You're behind the curtain like Polonius, and like Polonius, it is there that you shall meet your end! I mean, come on, that is the oldest hiding spot in the book. I mean, you can at least hide in a suit of armor. But Jojo sets him on fire, which should have killed him. But I guess vampires have a healing factor. I guess Deadpool was a vampire. And Jojo leads Deal to the roof to have him drop into a fire pit, only for Deal to land on the family guardian statue, killing him. Jojo and the gang member escape the fire, and everything returns to normal. Or do they? I think I better stop there. So that was Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Honestly, it was a lot tamer than I expected. Like I said, I've seen much weirder animes and shows, so seeing something like this didn't surprise me. I admit, it did keep me interested in the story and characters, and I got to admit some things I did thought were, were bizarre. I am glad I saw it and it made me appreciate why people wanted me to review it. You just won't see me praise it like everyone else. I'm Lunar Knight, and thank you guys for joining me in this fan pick review. See you guys next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you would like to watch some of my older episodes, hit one of the playlists and enjoy. And if you want to subscribe, hit that su subscribe button. And, and if you like it, leave a comment and a like button. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care.